In the last video, we saw that the brain's modularity is a good biomarker of the effectiveness of brain training for intelligence. Brain modularity is a balance between strong and weak connections. Strong connections in some communities of neurons, with only weak connections between them. In this video, we'll look at the critical networks in our own brains, and why modularity is an excellent organising principle for the brain. I'll also be giving you some tips on how to improve your own brain's modularity to maximise your intelligence gains from brain training. Modules in the brain can be classified into three overall control networks called the default mode network, the executive control network and the salience network. These three networks dynamically interact with each other from second to second, minute to minute generally becoming less modular when we're focused on tasks. The more modular they are before training in a resting state, the more we can benefit from our brain training. We can understand how these control networks work by looking at this space of all the possible brain states we can be in. We have easy to access, low energy demanding states shown in blue, difficult to access, high energy demanding states shown in orange, and damaging states such as burnout, anxiety and depression or addiction shown in purple. Imagine you're on an automatic pilot driving your car. You're letting your thoughts drift with your memories from the previous few days. Your stream of consciousness is effortless. This kind of easy access cognition depends on your default mode network. Let's say road traffic has shut off the road ahead and you're under pressure to be at a meeting. Now you're unexpectedly confronted with a problem, a challenge requiring that you override your habits, evaluate your options and figure out a solution. In terms of brain states, a solution isn't easily accessible. It's harder to reach. The thinking process takes energy and depends on your executive control network. Now imagine that your life has been weighed down by some major problems that you just haven't been able to make progress with resulting in chronic stress, anxiety and burnout. These damaging brain states may result in self-focused rumination and negative self-evaluations. The network that coordinates efficient switching between the default mode and executive control networks, depending on the context, and which helps shield the mind from damaging rumination, is the salience network. High modularity within and between these three networks is an optimal organisation because it combines the efficiency of specialised functions, for example easily accessible skill sets, familiar routines and knowledge when driving, with flexible complex problem solving and learning when figuring out a new route. So how can we increase the baseline modularity in our brains to maximise the IQ training gains we can get from brain training with apps like i3 Mindware? One important tip is make sure you're not sleep deprived when you do your training. As this study by Simon and colleagues concludes, our findings point to a profound reduction in network modularity without sleep evident in the limbic, default mode, salience and executive modules. These results portray a loss of functional segregation within the brain and a shift towards a more random-like network without sleep. A 212 study by Stevens and colleagues found that brain modularity in individuals wasn't stable but went up and down from one day to the next. And brain modularity at any given time was linked to changes in working memory capacity. So another suggestion is to make sure that you feel like you're cognitively sharp at the times that you train. Another suggestion for increasing brain modularity is training sustained attention with my G-Focus app. This is an implementation of the training exercise developed by de Betancourt and colleagues at Princeton University. After this training, brain regions in the executive control and salience networks came to represent attentional states more distinctively. And finally, there's good evidence that mindfulness meditation training can improve brain modularity. For instance, meditation has been reported to reduce the connections between the default and salience networks and between the default and executive control networks, as well as enhance connectivity within the default mode and executive control networks. 
Mindfulness meditation has also been shown to increase blood flow and associated modular neural activity in key regions of the salience network. So to conclude this vlog, I'd strongly recommend maximizing your brain's modularity before training with a brain training app such as i3 Mindware or DMB Pro. To do this, ensure you have a good night's sleep and feel sharp when you train. In addition, I'd recommend doing a session of G-Focus attention training before your dual MBAC training or 10 to 15 minutes of mindfulness meditation before your session. In my next video, I'm going to go into more depth about how to do an effective mindfulness meditation. <music>